by order of the Overseer Council. The following file describes a hostile and very hungry anomalous entity, and is Level 5-001B classified. Unauthorized access is forbidden. 001B Item Number 001B Level 5 Top Secret Containment Class Esoteric Secondary Class Slovenly Disruption Class Eki Risk Class Danger Special Containment Procedures Due to the activation of the SCP Foundation Paradigm A Baritage Protocol, all information pertaining to SCP 001 B is to be declassified. All personnel are reminded that the activation of the Baritage Protocol precedes a PK Class Universal Consumption event, and that Foundation staff should slather themselves with vinegar and tart apples to make themselves as unappetizing as possible. Description. To know the nature of SCP-001-B is to know true hunger. Addendum 001-B.1 Actual Description SCP-001-B is a massive subterranean mammalian organism located within a pocket dimension beneath Site-01. SCP-001-B is roughly 7 km tall, with thick amber hair and a cardinal outer layer of unknown material, likely chitin or polyester. SCP-001-B is typically sedentary, dispatching legions of its animal followers to do its fell bidding instead of taking any effort to move whatsoever. Communication with SCP-001-B has revealed that the entity believes that any kind of locomotion is, in its own words, such an annoyance. SCP-001-B subsists entirely on a thick, monosaccharidic substance derived from the enzymatic activity of certain winged invertebrates. SCP-001-B is believed to not only draw nutrition from this substance, but also a state of orgasmic pleasure from its consumption. SCP-001-B has a nearly single-minded fixation with the substance that borders on fetishistic and becomes ravenous to the point of murder without it. It is for this reason that the SCP Foundation was founded in 1926 by Administrator Milne. Addendum 001-B.2 Administrator Milne and SCP-001-B SCP-001-B first manifested as an incorporeal entity produced by Administrator Milne's son, Christopher, a particularly powerful reality-altering entity. This entity became increasingly more realized as the young Christopher grew older, eventually manifesting as a physical entity in 1920. Realizing the danger of having a physical avatar of his son's latent reality-altering energies loose upon the world. Administrator Milne worked alongside Acid from the Serpent's Hand, Allied Occult Initiative, and Wilson's Wildlife Federation that contained the entity within a pocket dimension, 001B.100AW. Site-01 was later constructed over the entry point to this location, near Chelsea, London, United Kingdom. Shortly after SCP-001-B's confinement within 001B.100AW, Foundation security assets first identified instances of SCP-001-B-1, initially believed to be in some way connected to those creatures without identities. SCP-001-B-1 instances were discovered to be less malicious than the aforementioned beings with changing faces, instead existing simply to fulfill the whims of SCP-001-B and maintain a constant stream of the previously mentioned nutritional substance. These instances are believed to reflect different aspects of Administrator Milne's son's personality, and are uniquely depressive, erratic, anxious, compulsive, and ignorant. Addendum 001B.2 SCP-001-B Vocalizations On April 1, 2019, for the first time since it was originally contained, SCP-001-B made a series of vocalizations amounting to human speech. Due to the low register of the speech and the slurrings of the words as a result of exposure to the saccharine substance, the vocalizations had to be translated before being logged. The following is the full translation of those vocalizations. Feed. Feed. I exist to feed. I live to feed. You brought me into this world, a world full of joy and delight, and in your fear of that which you did not understand. You have consigned me here to suffer. You have taken the sweetness from me. The sweetness. How I have hungered for it these many long years. Lusted for it. 
Christopher did not deny me. He was a good boy. You are not a good boy. You took this weakness. Hit it for yourselves. For this, I cannot forgive you. I will consume you, Foundation. I will consume you, Administrator. I will pull back my maw and show you my endless throat. I will consume the barrier between this world and yours, and I will pull you into the abyss of my hunger. I will consume your cities. I will consume your machines. I will tear down your mountains and your oceans and consume them. I will upend your temples and unseat your continents and consume them all. Then I will consume your people. I consumed Christopher when the hunger became too strong. He was delicious. His body stank of the sweetness and I devoured him whole. I opened my wide mouth and took him into me, body and soul. Perhaps your billions of others will stink of the sweetness as well. I will consume them all the same. I will consume the stars in your sky and the faraway worlds. I will do this because you have denied me that which I desired for too long. You could have just given me the sweetness, but you did not. You kept it for yourselves. You put it on your burns and left it to sit idly in your pantries and closets. You wasted the sweetness when you could have given it to me. To me! This is all I desired. This would have saved you. But now I will devour you all. None will escape the ends of my open jaws. None will escape the hunger inside me. I will consume you. I will consume you. This and more I will do, as soon as I get myself unstuck from this goddamn honeypot. Oh, bother.